I've always been amazed by how in the effort for the United States to be fair, say in the arguments of Supreme Court justices, senators, congressmen, and members of the executive and political parties and PACs, we always discount the human condition, at least in the result. So, for example, we have a Second Amendment, which, according to a meme that I saw today, uh, correctly states that we're judging how to regulate 21st century weapons with 18th century legal code. Um, which means that we say, well, people have the right to bear arms, which actually is not what the Second Amendment says, but let's just take the dummy version of what the average ignorant American thinks the Second Amendment's about, just so I can keep those morons listening at this point. So we have this idea that we're all allowed to have guns, asterisk at the top of that. Okay, but now the guns are infinitely more powerful. If you were to ask me, taking into consideration the human condition, we never should have had a Second Amendment that didn't also include a clause for an arsenal with a lock and key. Because any weapon that allows me to maim or kill somebody at a distance is a weapon that allows sociopaths to have their day when they shouldn't. You know, it comes from the expression day in court. But in other words, a sociopath shouldn't have the ability to take away life at a distance. He should have to measure up in psychology and face people with whom he has a grievance and negotiate issues face to face. Uh, this is a point I've been making and I've seen no one else make, and that is that what guns do, and this is credence toward the fact that they do kill people, is they empower people who otherwise can't even talk to people to murder people from a distance. Something they shouldn't be allowed to do by virtue of the fact that they don't even have the skills to have a conversation or they don't have the courage or character to learn martial arts to fight those they'd like to fight physically and fairly. So they video game them out of the picture, so to speak, by killing them from a distance. This is how guns have a power to kill people from far away, which is a power humans shouldn't have, which is credence toward the argument that I make that guns empower people to do things that are superhuman, a power people shouldn't have. And so when you compare the weapons which were muskets to automatic weapons today, they exponentially exaggerate that unfair power. And this is why ballistic weapons should not be legal unless they've been unlocked from an arsenal in a case where a majority of people have decided that a war is actually on, say with the federal government, otherwise they should be locked up, keeping regular people safe. America unequivocally, inarguably, with no argument to say I'm wrong, can't be a country of the free if I can walk outside into a public square and be killed by a lunatic. I'm not free. This, by definition, is a breakdown of cognitive thinking, cognitive reasoning, and um, it is a breakdown of common sense. Our Constitution, given the real conditions of the world today, is in violation of common sense. Okay, Thomas Paine wouldn't only turn over in his grave if he could achieve consciousness after death. He'd come out of the grave and he'd physically assault people who have allowed this stupidity to reign in our country. And there's no one, including the executive, congressmen, senators, and Supreme Court justices, there's no one who deserves an iota of credit beyond insanity, a statement and pronouncement of insanity, who furthers the cause of the Second Amendment today without another amendment. Americans have to face the fact that they literally have an insane constitution given the real conditions. And what I started this discussion with, the human condition, is another reason why. In every population, there will be people whose mental state is aberrant by temporary mental illness, by temporary or prolonged delusion, be it religious or otherwise delusion, or actual insanity. There are psychopaths and sociopaths in every population, and this is another reason why it is unequivocally insane to allow the average citizen the right to have a weapon, a ballistic weapon especially. If anything, we should resort to saying people should be allowed to carry swords. 
ballistic weapons should be illegal unless under lock and key and allowed to be availed the use of in the case of an invasion by a foreign foe or a domestic one. They shouldn't be at the ready and at the hands of citizens at all times. That is insane by definition.